we have the opportunity right now to begin to rehearse the future for those that will become awake. And this is the opposite of a new woke paradigm. This is an awake that is ecstatic. This is not a, an awake that, that congratulates itself for some enlightened viewpoint or some neoliberal perspective. This is awake on the ecstatic levels. So bring yourself into a state of ecstatic awareness of your fingers and toes right now. Feel your toes, wiggle them a little bit. Remember you've got these legs. Remember you've got these thighs. Remember you've got this pelvis that holds the energy of your soul. Remember you have this belly as to where you make decisions. And remember you have this chest where you emanate the emotional love and, and gratitude for the universe. Remember you have this head that is not there to be encased in brain activity, but is actually your gateway to the solar environment, the, the, the heavens, if you will. And so open that top gate and open the lower gate and then let's rehearse the future for those that will become ecstatically awake. and create the future that we want. And if 100,000, if a million, if 300 million, if 7.8 billion people will join in this electric ecstatic experience, There's no vacuum to be filled by the old fear and, and guilt paradigm. Religion will have no foothold. Spirituality and our connection to our God force becomes the dominant paradigm. There's no currency based on death and decay that can rationally control us because we have found an ecstatic state of abundance that exceeds the concept of need for money. And we start to go into an exchange environment of resources, an exchange environment of true valuation in the form of biologic co-creation. start to build cities that are, are built within soil and rock structures. We could build things that look more like cave dwellings than sk skyscrapers. We could build things that, uh, instead of cell phone towers, are integrated communication networks through the fiber optic cables that we call mycelium of the fungi in the soils around us. We could build an ecstatic environment where just seeing another human being running naked through a field reminds us of the vitality of this particle moment that we call human life. It would bring us into an awe state such that any corruption of that, that nakedness, any corruption of, of the sexuality in there, it becomes impossible because everything is held in its highest state of awe and, and reverence for this thing called life. And then we will experience pleasure, this ecstatic experience on a whole different level because we are not perturbed by straight lines that pierce into some sky in search of some invisible godlike power that we would be afraid that we would miss out on. curving networking systems. That's the co-creative process we have the potential to engage in. And so as the draconian measures march on and you are 
faced with a decision of am I going to wear a mask or not, if I'm going to risk the biologic injury of a vaccine or not, you, you start creating your own boundaries. And instead of putting your energy into a system that says I need to go you know, fight against the vaccine, I'm going to create a new system. prove out the biology of the innate immune system to prove that I'm far more efficacious in preventing any viral illness through the support of the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system, this antibody response of a vaccine that has nothing to do with our relationship to viruses, becomes almost ludicrous in its argument. And we can show that through 30, the last 30 years of science already knowing that, we can show that through storytelling and narrative around the beauty of your innate immune system that would wake you up to this. And so as you move forward, don't become anti I become pro, become so pro life, so so pro fundamentally alive and ecstatic that, that any other option is impossible. And suddenly your biggest release, you know, ultimately at the end point becomes what we now call death. And it's gonna be this liberation from this particle moment that will be the only thing that supersedes your experience of life and its creative potential. something far greater than your biologic experience, your particle moment at that moment, and the creativity in, in that death moment is extremely logarithmic. And so I want to, to give us space to look into that a little deeper as, as we conclude here, but I just want you guys to feel what you're feeling right now. disconnected by the temporal space of recording this and your ears hearing this, we have superseded that now. With our energetic focus on our co-creative capacity and the electricity you feel in your body is the same electricity I feel in my body right now. It is solar energy that's being broken down into a new electromagnetic field. sun would. I am glowing as that star in the, in the galactic humanity of 7.8 billion suns burning on this, this planet right now. And I, I can merge with you and I can experience your ecstatic experience and I can celebrate the fact that you're alive and you're a healing machine. birthing machine, you are a birthing machine that supersedes any previous notion of who you were, and you're now new every millionth of a second. And so ask everybody around you to let go of the old self, let go of their remembrance of you. Stop celebrating the birthdays and, and celebrate the rebirth days, the new birth dates, which is now. Which is now. Which is now. Which is now. Let go of that temporal concept of aging and start to come into this eternal realization that you are here and always have been here and you're going to continue. What are you going to do today? I, I can't wait for you to reach out and just touch the hand of another human being with the amount of electricity you have in your hand and just say, I love you, I can see you. You are beautiful. You're exquisitely beautiful. Look at your eyes. Look at, look at the incredible patterns in your eye. It's like a supernova of color and it's constantly changing by the light of day. Your eyes are so beautiful in the way in which it reflects light back at me as I realize that you are seeing me overwhelms me with gratitude. Your eyes are so beautiful. Thank you for looking at me.